Hey guys, so today I will be covering a video on how to join datasets in Alteryx. So what we have here is datasets containing the medium household income, the percentage over the 25% of the people who completed high school, the percentage below the poverty level, and the police killings in the United States. So I want to join all of these data sets together. So the first thing I'm going to do is browse and make sure that the geographic area is covering every single state as I can see on the left. And it looks like it's like that for every single one of these. So what I'm going to do here is let's just say we want to join the top two data sets. Let's get rid of these browse tools now since uh, since we know that those data sets are all relational. So there's two ways we can do this and I will be covering both of these in the video. So we can join the data sets like this on the left side of the data set which is this top input right here and the bottom set right side of the data set which is the bottom input right here so before joining you're going to want to use your select tool to make sure that the data set that you are joining the fields that you're joining on are the same type of metadata so we want to join on the geographic area which is a v string and the geographic area up there which is also a v string so we're going to do that and geographic area equals geographic area so let's see how that works out and that's going to work out pretty good but if we want to join on a more accurate basis we are going to join on geographic area city so we can narrow it down so we're not going to get 25 million records here so yeah now we have around 29,000 records and we are going to remove the right two so we are just going to see the percentage of the people that completed high school and we're also going to add another join up here and the output of that join is going to go right there. And we are going to do the same exact thing. Geographic area and city, which are both V strings. And we're going to join those. And then finally, we want to join in the bottom data set, which is everything else we're going to need. So we have state and city here, which is not titled the same as the other ones. So what we are going to do is put this as the right side input and put the join of the other three data sets as the left side input. And we are going to join them on geographic area is to state and the city is to city. And we only want to see the city and geographic area. And I'll move the state up just so you guys can see that it is joining on state. So, there is one way to do it. We have 13 records that are consistent throughout all of these data sets that we can join on geographic area, state, and city. So why may that be? Looks like the right side of the data set has cities that are not included in the join here. So another way we could do this to not necessarily lose data is we could delete these 
And let's say we want to keep all of our data from the first join of just the top two data sets. So we have all this on the nine records on the right side that did not join and two records on the left, but we still want to keep their info. So what we can do is we can union all three of these data sets together. And in the process of uniting them, we're going to manually configure these fields just to make sure everything's lining up. And looks like that is. So we're going to join those. And then on the bottom, we are going to perform another join off that union to make sure that we do keep all of our data. And we're going to join on geographic area and city. And the reason we're doing the union is because there might be a city and state that exist in one in this data set or this data set that also exists in that data this data set right here, but does not join just off strictly these two data sets. So what I'm going to do is run this join again. And this time, we are getting a little bit more than last time. So what we're going to do is another union. So we're going to union the join, the left, and the right. And we could auto config by name, but I like to manually configure fields just to double check that everything's in there that we need. So we have city, geographic area, medium income, percent completed high school, and poverty rate. So we can run that. And then we can also join that union into here. And I'm guessing we're going to get more than nine records this time. Joining on geographic area is the state in this bottom data set. And the city is the city. And let's run that. And we got 13, so we got a couple, couple more. So if we want to see stuff in these three data sets that truly does exist in all three, then that's what we're going to use. But if we want to get something to throw into, say, per se, Tableau, to get all of our data, we can throw another union tool in there and join them. Auto config. And we'll move that to manual. It looks like those are all right. And just so we make sure we don't get any duplicate data, we're going to add a unique and a select tool at the end here. Oops. And when you configure your unique tool, I'm going to select all here just to get any duplicates out of the data set that might be there. And run that. And our final output has 31,000 records with a lot of null fields. <laughs> so what we can do is we can break this up by city to see the metrics we need. There's several things you can do from here now that the data set is all joined together to create an output to perform the analyzation you need on your data set. So that is one way to do this. So the other way to do this is to essentially do all of this all at once, not using the join tool, but using a tool called the join multiple tool. So when you use the join multiple tool, it's essentially the same as the join tool. And we are going to connect every single input to here. And we are going to join these inputs by geographic area, geographic area. I'm sorry, so let me get this a little bit bigger for you guys. 
So what this up here is telling us is the geographic area on input 1 is going to equal the state on input 2. Oh man, my tool's messing up. So on input 1, we have geographic area, which exists on input 2 and on input 3. So on input 4, which is the bottom data set right here, it is called state. So we're going to join that in on state. And then we're also going to join city on city. And it looks like that is the only two common fields we can join these on. So with this tool, you have two options to join by record position or join by a specific field. So I like to join by specific fields. It's the best way to ensure your most accurate data set is being output. And then you have two huge options. You can click this only output records that join from all inputs. If you only want to see everything that joins, or you can just leave it like this to get the exact same result that we got doing it the other way. And 29,322 records input. And out of all of these, we do have a total of 3,031,864 3, outputs, which does the exact same thing as it would do joining together. Now, an easier way to do this too, we could filter down the state to is not null to see what data is good sorry geographic area my bed geographic area is not null Now we have our 29,000 records we want to analyze along with other metrics that we did pull from the data set that may not be existing there. So kind of after you join your records, you have multiple different ways to go with your data, but those are the two main ways you can join your records in Tableau, uh, Alteryx. So what we can do here if we do select only output records that join from all inputs is this should give us around 13 results which is the exact same results that we get when we add those three separate join tools so this is a lot quicker way to join your data if your data set is clean however if your data set is dirty and missing data and may not join on any field you might want to use the individual join tools where you can see more in depth what joins and what doesn't and the reason i say that is because the join multiple tool has just one output here and the join tool you can see the both inputs and the left the join and the right side of the data thank you for watching and i will be back with more alteryx videos to come hope you guys enjoyed this and please like and subscribe to my channel data science doug